Are you struggling with your turnout? Do you feel that your hip cramps up every time you try to push your turn out a little bit more? Do you feel like you're stretching a lot but you're still not getting the range that you want? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and strategy as well as some exercise to help you improve your turn out. Let's go! Hi, I'm Melanie the Physio, also the co-founder of Capital Physiotherapy here in Australia. If you like to improve all things performance art related, make sure you hit the like, subscribe and bell notification button. In this channel, we talk all things about how you can improve your dance skills as an adult learner, as well as what you can do to prevent injury, as well as rehab injury relating to these sports. Holding a perfect turnout not only requires flexibility at your hip joint, but also strength around your hip joint to keep that turnout in a nice prolonged position. Now, if you go into your first position and you feel that with your turnout that your arch or your feet is collapsing or your knee is hurting, it is a sign that your hip is not doing what they're supposed to do. In this video, I'm going to run through with you a few simple tests so you can figure out whether strength or flexibility of your hip is the problem that you can't do a perfect turnout. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because we have some bonus exercise that's going to help you to speed up your improvement. If you have a hip flexibility issue, you will find the following exercise difficult to do. Adductor stretched. Come into a kneeling position where you're at your all fours, so on your knees and on your hand. Coming down onto your elbow and slowly open your inner thigh up by pushing your knee out towards the side horizontally. Now, if you feel that your inner thigh is stretching, then that means that this exercise is something you have to do to help improve the range of your turnout. Hold this position for about 30 seconds to a minute. After 30 seconds to a minute, see whether you can push your leg out sideways a little bit further and hold it for another 30 seconds. Repeat this process for about 3 to 4 repetitions as often as you can. Hamstring length. Now if you have hamstring tightness, you will find that it's very hard for you to do a proper turn out because your hamstring will be limiting your hip movement. So to test whether you have a tight hamstring, lie down on the floor with a yoga stripe. If you don't have a yoga stripe, a towel works just fine. Hook the towel or the yoga stripe over your feet and then keeping your legs straight and pulling it up straight to 90 degree. If you can't achieve 90 degree with legs straight, then this is the exercise that you really have to do to help improve your turnout. Hold this position for about 30 seconds to a minute. After 30 seconds to a minute, see whether you can pull the leg closer to your chest and hold it for another 30 seconds to a minute. Practice this exercise a couple of times a day and try to aim for your legs to be closer to your chest every week. Now, if you have hip strength issue that's limiting your turnout, then the next few exercise is what you will really struggle with. Practice lifting your leg up forward. Now, kicking your legs straight out forward, making sure that the minimum range is 90 degree. You can go past 90 degree, but nothing lower than 90 degree. If you have trouble getting to 90 degree, make sure you check out our other video here to help you with that. Now, hold your leg up into 90 degree, keeping yourself stable. Now, you can have your hand holding the wall for balance. Now, I want you to keep your leg nice and straight and then turn your hip out and in, out and in. Now repeat this process without twisting your hip, keeping your hip nice and level, engaging your core, and you're literally just turning the entire leg out and in, out and in. Repeat this exercise for 20 repetitions and do that for three sets. The next exercise is lifting your leg up to the side. Same thing as the previous exercise, the minimum range for this exercise is to kick your leg up to at least 90 degree. Hold it there, keeping your hip nice and stable, keeping your front as level as possible, engaging your core, squeeze the front of your thigh to make sure that your leg is nice and elongated. And all you have to do now is to turn your whole leg upwards 
Repeat this exercise for about 20 repetitions and do that for three sets. Now the next exercise is leg lift to the back. Same thing as all the previous exercise, you want to make sure that the minimum range for this exercise is that you're able to kick your leg up to at least 90 degrees. Hold this position, making sure you keep your balance, squeeze the front of your leg, squeeze your bum muscles as well to keep the leg up high, and now you're gonna rotate your leg out and in, out and in keeping the entire leg nice and stretched the entire time. Repeat this process for 20 repetitions and do that for three sets. Let me know down in the comment below after watching this video, have you realized that if your limitation is because of flexibility issue or is it strength issue? Or is it both? If you would like to learn more about this topic, make sure you head on to our private Facebook page at Ask Mel the Physio. In there, you will have PDF for this topic. And not only that, you will also have all the other educational booklets that we will have from now onwards. Now, many beginners adult dancers have no problem doing the mid-range turn out. That means they would have no problem doing from this range to this range. What they are struggling is, is what we call the end of range control. So this exercise is precisely what we're gonna train. This is what we call the clam exercise, but we're gonna do a little bit of twist with this exercise by only focusing at the end of range. So I want you to lie on your side with the bottom leg straight and the top leg bent. Now, making sure that your hip is stacked on top of the other, that you're not rolling your hip backwards at all times throughout this exercise. Making sure that you have a little bit of gap between the mat and your waist. And you want to drop the top leg down to almost touching the floor, but you never did touch the floor. You're almost touching it, but you're never touching the actual floor. Lift the leg up all the way towards the ceiling. And if you can't, just go as far as you can, all the way to the point where you feel that this is the end of your hip range. Now hold that there. All I want you to do is lower it by 10% and coming straight back up. Lower it by 10% and coming straight back up again. Repeat this for about 20 repetitions. Do that for three sets. Now this will significantly improve your turnout right at the very end of your turnout range. I upload video here on a weekly basis on health, fitness, as well as injury rehab topic. Once again, I'm Melanie and I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, happy and healthy. Good luck with your turnout. See ya!